Hi class and welcome to chapter two in your Go Math book series. Today we're going to work on lesson 2.1. So you need to find pages 87 and 89 and tear them out of your math book. If you haven't done so yet, pause the video, go get your math book, tear out page 87 and 89, and then come back. All right, if you're back, that means you have your math pages, you are ready to go. So today's lesson is on problem solving and organizing data. Our essential question is how can you use the strategy, make a table, to organize data and solve problems? Unlock the problem. The students in Alicia's class voted for their favorite yogurt flavor. They organized the data in this tally table. How many more students chose chocolate than strawberry? First, I hope that you guys noticed that it said how many more and recognize that how many more is a clue word for subtraction. We should start picking up on these clue words. All right. Another way to show the data is in a frequency table. A frequency table uses numbers to record data. It's highlighted in yellow. You know that's a vocab word. Hopefully you've already tone out, tore out your vocab um, cards out of the beginning of chapter two and put them into a Ziploc bag. So this is a tally table. Mess my Y up. This, what we're about to make, is a frequency table. The difference between a tally table and a frequency table is that a tally table is going to use tally marks. A frequency table uses numbers. Okay? All right, so we're going to work through this problem and solve it, but we're going to first take this tally table and convert it into a frequency table. Here we go. First, let's read the problem. What do I need to find? Well, I need to find how many more students chose chocolate than strawberry yogurt as their favorite. What information do I need to use? Well, the data about favorite yogurt in the tally table. And this up here. How will I use the information? Well, I will count the tally marks. Then I will put the numbers in a frequency table and compare the numbers of students who chose chocolate to the number of students who chose strawberry. Okay, so now we have it broken down what we're going to do. Let's do it. So we have the title of our frequency table, favorite yogurt flavor, that's done. We have our two columns, flavor and number. We don't write tally because tally is for a tally table. We're doing a frequency table and we're using numbers. So we wrote number here. Now we need to copy the categories, the flavors in the same order. They have vanilla done for you. Now you need to copy chocolate and strawberry. Okay, so here is where you're going to think, oh my gosh, this is so easy. All we're going to do is count the tally mark and write the number. So a frequency table just shows the number. That's it. So how many students voted for vanilla? Well, we have five, six, seven. Seven students. How many students voted for chocolate? Five, six, seven, eight. And how many students voted for strawberry? One, two, three, four. Okay, that's it. 
We have converted our tally table into a frequency table, and that is all you have to do. So we counted the tally marks and we recorded seven for vanilla. We wrote the other flavors and recorded the number of tally marks for those as well. To compare the number of students who chose strawberry and the number of students who chose chocolate, subtract. And you remember from up here I showed you when it says how many more we're going to subtract. And looky there, we're subtracting. So it says um, we're comparing chocolate and strawberry. Well, it's a subtraction problem. The larger number always goes first. So out of chocolate and strawberry, who had more votes? Chocolate. They had eight votes. So that needs to go first because we are subtracting. Strawberry had four votes. And eight minus four class is four. So four more students chose chocolate as their flavor. Okay, flip your paper over. Now, let's try this problem. We're not going to fill all this out because I actually want to do a third page with you. So to cut down on your time, we're going to read our problem, our tally chart. We're going to create our frequency table, and we're going to solve the problem. Here we go. Two classes in Carter School grew bean plants for a science project. The heights of the plants after six weeks are shown in the tally table. The plants were measured to the nearest inch. How many fewer? How many fewer? Who can tell me what that means? How many fewer? That's subtraction. How many fewer bean plants were nine inches tall than seven inches and eight inches combined? Oh my goodness, there's so many clue words. So taller than seven inches and it's addition, eight inches combined is addition. So I'm going to have to combine the seven and eight and then subtract them from the nine. Okay, so before we get to all that, let's look at our tally chart. So I have the title being plant heights. Then I have our categories. We have height in inches. So that means this is 7 inches, 8 inches, 9 inches, 10 inches, and then we have the tally marks. Now, don't get confused when there's numbers on this side, okay? If it helps you and you need to label them, so that you remember these are inches, then label them, okay? Because it can get more confusing, especially when we come down here to do a frequency table, um, because you're going to have numbers on both sides, all right? So now let's come down here and we are going to convert this tally chart, tally table into a frequency table. Here we go. First, you need to copy the title. What's the title? Bean plant heights. You're going to have to write small. Okay. What are our two categories? We have the height in inches. So let's write that down. Again, you gotta write small. Height in inches. Now, are we gonna write tally? No, this is a frequency table. So we are writing the number. So we are just going to write number because this is a frequency table, okay? Alrighty, now we still have more information that we just need to copy. So we know that we, are, we have measurements or we have data for bean plants that are seven inches through 10 inches, but we need to put that on here. So we have seven, eight, nine, and 10 inch plants, okay? Now we need to count our tally marks for each height and write the number of plants that are that high, okay? So for seven inch plants, there are five, six, seven, eight, nine plants that are seven inches tall, so nine. Now do you see what I mean by a frequency table can get confusing because now you're looking at two numbers side by side? So if you need to label it, as in this is seven inches, that may help you, seven inches, there are nine, okay? 
What about eight inches? Well, we have five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight plants that are eight inches tall. We have five, 10, 11, 12 plants that are nine inches tall. And we have five, six, seven, eight, nine plants that are 10 inches tall. All right, you with me so far? Now our question was, how many fewer bean plants were nine inches tall than seven and eight inches combined? So the first thing we need to do is combine seven and eight. So seven and eight would be, there were nine, there were seven inches. There were eight, there were eight inches. Let's add those together because it says and, and it also says combine, that means add. Okay, and we get 17. So that means 17 plants were seven or eight inches, but we're not finished. How many fewer bean plants were nine inches tall? Okay, so I'm gonna take my 17 and I need to subtract however many were nine inches tall. So I go to nine inches, there were 12 of them. So 17 minus 12, which I know equals five. Five bean plants. Okay, see these problems are not difficult, but if you don't take the time to break down your question, look for your clue words and do each step properly, then it is confusing and it is more difficult. So this is our final answer. Okay. Grab page 89, the share and show. Okay, all right. So it says the students in three third grade classes recorded the lengths of their shoes to the nearest centimeter. The data are in the table, are in the tally table. How many more, ooh, how many more? That's a clue word for subtracting. How many more shoes were 18 or 22 centimeters combined? That is a clue word for, I hope you said addition. Then, oh, there's a subtraction, 20 centimeters long. So we have a two-step problem, my friends. But first, we need to count the tally marks and record the data in the frequency table. Remember, this is a tally table. This is a frequency table. So we need to do that first. They've already copied all the um, information. Now we just have to count. So here, don't get confused. These numbers are centimeters, okay? They're centimeters. If you have to label them so that you remember, that these are centimeters, then label them by all means. I don't want you to get confused. And then we have the number of boys and the number of girls for each length. So here we go. We have five, six boys with 18 and one, two, three, four girls. Okay. Five boys and 19 and one, two, three, four girls. Five, six, seven, eight at 20. Five, six, seven, eight, nine girls at 20. Five, six, seven at 21. And five for girls at 21. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven. Okay, we have taken all of our information from our tally table and moved it into our frequency table. All right, so we have the length of shoes and then the number of boys and the number of girls for each of those. All right, so it says to find the number of shoes that were 18 or 22 centimeters long, we need to add, and they have the first number six down. Why? Well, because it's 18 or 22. So we need to add together the two choices for 18 and the two for 22. So for 18, the boys were six, the girls were four. 
and it says or 22, so now go to your 22 down here. The boys were nine, the girls were seven. And we are gonna add these up, okay? So if I'm doing my mental math, six plus four is 10, nine plus seven is 16, 10 plus 16 is 26. To find the number of shoes that were 20 centimeters long, add blank plus blank. Why do we have to add the number of shoes that are 20 centimeters long? Well, that's because the 20 centimeters are recorded separate in boys and girls. They're not asking for just boys or just girls, they're just asking for shoes. So I need to combine the boys and the girls that have that shoe length. So it would be eight boys and nine girls have that shoe length. And eight plus nine is 17. To find the difference, ooh, 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 difference is a clue word for subtraction. To find the difference between the shoes that were 18 or 22, which is these, long, and the shoes that were 20 centimeters long, boop, boop, right there, subtract the sums, okay? So which sum, these are our sums, and then these are our sums, because they're the answers to addition problems, which one's larger, 26 or 17? 26 minus 17, okay? And if the, you don't want to do that mental math, which I think you should always write out your work and do your work as a good mathematician, then we solve, okay? 16 minus 7 is 9, 1 minus 1 is 0, so 26 minus 17 is 9. So 9 more shoes were 18 or 22 centimeters long than 20 centimeters long. I think the most important information for you to take away from this is that a tally table has tally marks. A frequency table, you want to think about how frequent something was noted. How frequent, meaning how often, okay, or how many. So frequency tables are always going to have numbers. Okay, and like I said, if numbers are in all the columns and you don't want to get confused, add some labels in to help you remember, oh yeah, these numbers mean centimeters. Okay?